rest in a railway station at time t0 the train starts to move towards towards with an increasing speed until it reaches its maximum speed at time t equals to 48 seconds this is speed time drop they have given here and uh, you have to for first 48 seconds of the journey state how the graph shows first a a part first answer how show how the graph shows that during the first 48 hours of the journey the acceleration of train is constant so this question we will do first this we will find out so as you can see here in this graph here it is uh, at 25 at 20 here so 20 20 seconds so we will see where it is meeting on the y axis so it is coming to 25 okay so it is coming to 15 10 11 12 13 14 15 so 15 meters per second and for 14 40 so for 40 it is coming to And for 45, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. It is coming to 35. So 15, 15 meters per second increment is there. Here also 15, here also 15, here also 15. So everywhere it is constant. So that means speed is constant. So we can write that speed is constant. Speed is constant and also graph is straight and graph graph is straight till 48 seconds till 48 seconds so that's why acceleration is constant so that is the answer for first now we will do second part of the question b part uh, a second calculate the acceleration this one of a train during the first 48 seconds of the journey so this question we will do so acceleration means change in velocity upon time so acceleration equals to rate of change of velocity means final velocity minus initial velocity upon time so final velocity v minus initial velocity u upon time so as you can see here here final velocity is as you can see in this question so final velocity is 30 here this point this point here we will coincide with y axis and see 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 so it is 36 here final velocity till 48 seconds so 36 so is the 36 meters per second is the final velocity 36 initial velocity is 0 here because from the rest the train is running so this is the initial velocity so minus 0 upon time t so time given is 48 seconds for 48 they are finding out so this is the 48 second so here it is 48 second so we will find the answer we will calculate on the calculator let's see so it is coming 0.75 meters per second square acceleration so now take the next part b part so as you can see here they have asked this after the time t uh, t equals to 40 the train continues at its maximum speed for another 72 seconds so 72 seconds maximum speed so we will and what they have asked on figure 1.1 Sketch the speed time graph for next 72 seconds of the journey. Means next 72 seconds means we will find out. So 120 is the final time. So 120 minus 48. 48 seconds. So equals to 72. So for next 72 seconds means this one. So we will draw the graph here. So this is the maximum speed at which it is running. So this will be like straight line from here till the end it will touch so this is the answer for this one now next part we will do 
so b2 we will do b2 so b and second part this one we will do so determine the total distance traveled by the train in 120 seconds after it starts moving so we will do this so as you know a total distance traveled by the train is the area under the graph so area under the graph uh, that means we have to find the uh, this uh, area under this this whole area so this whole area we will find out so here you can see two geometrical figures are formed first is this triangle okay and second is this rectangle so this is the rectangle uh, here it is so two geometrical figures are formed so this is a figure a and this is figure b so area of this triangle and area of this rectangle if we find out so that will give our uh, answer for this okay so this and this ab so as you can see here so we will uh, name this two geometrical figures first this triangle as a b c and this we will write as a b x d so if we want to find out the area here so we have to find the area of abc and this quadrilateral abxd so we will find out so area of total distance equals to total distance equals to total distance covered equal to area of triangle abc plus area of this quadrilateral abxd abxd so let's find so length cb is the base of this triangle abc length cb this one so length cb so length cb is 48 so this is 48 and height height means uh, ab length ab is the height so length ab is the height means this one so it is 36 so we will write substitute the values half into 48 into 36 this is 36 and this is 48 so this is done now uh, for this rectangle we will find out length into breadth so length is bx and breadth is dx or ab we can take so length of bx so bx as you know well it is 72 72 this bx is 72 this bx is 72 and height is again here 36 only bx is 36 so length into that 72 into 36 so i will solve on my calculator and so equals to 24 into 36 plus 72 into 36 so 24 into 36 equals to 2592 plus 72 into 36 equals to here 864 864 so we will add and we will find out the answer so answer is coming 3 4 5 6 3 4 5 6 is the answer for this so 3 4 5 6 meters so this question is done